everyone. Today we are starting chapter four on transformations. Uh, transformations are uh, when you can rotate, reflect, and translate a figure. The first section focuses on translations. And in order to understand translations, we need to define quite a bit of terms here. So the first thing we're going to look at and define is a vector. So a vector is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude and is represented in the coordinate plane by an arrow drawn from one point to another. So direction means exactly what you think, like north, south, east, west. We're going in some particular direction. And magnitude is basically a number. So how long is this arrow? Um, when we draw an arrow that looks like this, this is considered a vector because it has a length and it has a direction. So this initial point here is where it starts. So the initial point is the starting point of a vector. And then it ends somewhere because it's only so long. So wherever it ends is that terminal point. The terminal point always has that head of your arrow. From there, um, most vectors are at an angle. So we can break them up into a right triangle. And that's when we break it up into component form. So there's always a horizontal component, which is uh, parallel to your x axis. And then there's a y component, which is parallel to your y axis. And that is just the change from, so the horizontal component is the horizontal change from the starting point of a vector to the ending point. And then you have the same thing that goes on with the vertical direction. So we start here and we end here. So it's our change in our x and then our change in our y. Uh, how we denote or write vectors is in component form, which is this right here. So this indicates vector AB is written as there's a change in our x and a change in our y. So our x direction we go this far to the left or right. Our y direction we go this far up or down depending if they're plus or minus. And then we can form that right triangle and figure out our vector. Uh, you'll note here that above the AB is just a little vector. Starts from left to right and has the arrow head. So your first letter is always your initial point. Your second letter is your terminal point. Let's do an example together. Name the vector and write it in component form. So this vector starts here at point P, and then it goes up and to the left and ends at point Q. So the name of this vector is U, and we put that arrowhead on top to indicate that it is a vector. Component form, if we break this up into a right triangle, you can see that in order to go from P to Q, we are moving left four spaces, or this is a negative four. So if we're talking just number form, we need negative four because it's moving in the left, the negative direction of x. And then over here for our y component, we are going up five units. So this would then be a positive five. So the component form has these brackets, and then we put our x component. So we are going a negative 4, so we're going left 4, and then up 5. And then we close those brackets. So these, this type of bracket indicates that we're working with a vector and not just a point on a coordinate plane. Some more definitions that we need to talk about here is what exactly is a transformation? Because that's what this whole chapter is on. So a transformation is a function that moves or changes a figure in some way to produce a new figure. So we're, again, we're going to translate it, we're going to rotate it, we're going to reflect it, and we're going to see how the original image uh, moves or changes to get our final image. And the original image we call the pre-image, and then the final, final picture we call the image. And then, so I've been talking about a translation. 
Translation is a transformation that moves every point of a figure the same distance in the same direction. And I have a picture over here of a lightning bolt. Our pre-image is lightning bolt ABC, and you'll see it follows the exact same vector. All points are going to move along this vector, and we're going to end up with our final lightning bolt, which we call A prime, B prime, C prime. And these primes indicate that that's our final image and not our pre-image. So ABC yields A prime, B prime, C prime. In this picture here, we have a pre-image, which is just a line segment, P and Q. And this is going to translate along a vector, vector AB. So it is moving along this vector here. So all points of this line segment are going to move the exact same amount. So these two line segments for our pre-image and our image are going to be parallel to each other. And the final line segment, note that we have the little prime notation in here. It's kind of hard to see, but this is P prime. And this point here is Q prime. And as I keep saying P prime, Q prime, um, anytime you have that final point, we call it point P prime or point Q prime or whatever letter it has to go along with it. So uh, if we take a look at this, if we break this up into component form, we move this a distance of A to the right, and then B we're going up a distance of, or uh, I'm sorry, for our Y going up a distance of B. Let's end this lesson with doing a couple of examples. So we give, are given a triangle, triangle ABC, and A is at point 0, 0,3, B is at point 2, 2, 4, and C is at 1, 0. For part A, we are asked to translate triangle ABC using the vector negative 1, negative 2, and then label it triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So what that means, if we have vector of negative 1, negative 2, we are going left 1 and down 2. So every single point that we have is going to go left 1, down 2. So if we go and look at A, we go left 1 and down 2. A prime is then at the point negative 1, 1. If we go up to B and we follow the vector left 1, down 2, B prime ends up at the coordinate point 1, 2. And then follow the same thing for point C, we go left 1, down 2, we end up with C prime at 0, negative 2. So connect those dots so we can form our figure. And that would be our final image. We've labeled it A prime, B prime, C prime. Part B asks us to write a rule for the translation from triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So what that is asking us to do is how do we go and just compute each new coordinate point? So this says take our original XY coordinate and convert it into x minus 1 and y minus 2. So whatever our original x value is, and you subtract 1, you'll have your prime x value. Whatever your original y value is, subtract 2, and you'll end up with your prime point. The next example walks us through that, so let's take a look at that. Uh, for this one, we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and we're given the vertices, and uh, we want to make the image after it follows this translation. So we're given X, Y yields X minus 1 plus Y minus 4. I'm going to write out all of my points. I've got A is 1, negative 2, B is 2, 1, C 
is 4, 1, and then d is 4, negative 2. If I apply this rule to this given xy coordinate point, because we're given an xy coordinate point, our new coordinate point to go with our prime is going to be our x coordinate, which is 1, and subtract 1. And then our new y coordinate for the prime it says take your original y value, which is negative 2, and add 4 to it. From there, 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 2 plus 4 gives us 2. So this is the coordinate point for a prime. Let's go over a little. Um, B, we're going to follow the same, same uh, rule here. So take your original x, which is 2. And then we subtract 1. And then take your original y value, add 4. So we have 1 plus 4. That gives us a new point of 1, 5, and that is for b prime. For c prime, we have 4, subtract 1, and then our y value is 1, and then we add 4. That gives us a coordinate point of 3, 5 for C prime. And lastly, for D prime, take that X value, which is 4, subtract 1, take that Y value, which is negative 2, add 4, and you'll get your prime point of 3, 2. If we plot these four points on our coordinate system, A prime is over 0, up 2, B prime, 1, 5. C prime is 3, 5. And D prime is 3, 2. Connect all of your points. And that is our final image. So in this lesson, we just talked about uh, translations. So that is just moving an image and how to apply a vector uh, to given coordinates, how to write the vector into component form, and then how to take uh, some given points and then apply a rule to it to translate a uh, given figure. Thank you for listening to this lesson. We will continue on and finish with the second half of Section 401 with our next lesson. Talk to you soon.